in our investigations into revenues in the sector and if government has the capacity to track them to ensure right taxes are paid. We learn about a system established in 2010. Our checks indicate that the Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, contracted a private IT company to electronically monitor and audit telcos. Suba Info Solutions Ghana Limited, located at Roman Rage in Accra, is the company in question. Its mandate, among other things, is to ensure no company underdeclare its revenue to the GRA within the telecom industry. But many deep throat sources we spoke to are questioning the efficiency of Suba since its establishment. After months of investigations, Metro News has access to documents from various sources within the company and outside the company. And most worrying is that the Ghana Revenue Authority pays Suba an average of 4 million CDs monthly. Here is a cash book of Suba Info Solutions from 2011 to 2013, which indicate various cash transactions for work done. As of September 14, 2011, Suba's balance was 5,340,168.99 Ghana CDs and it received payment of 2,689,854 Ghana CDs. In May 2011, it received 3,039,041 Ghana CDs. In July 2011, however, it got an amount of 5,118,133 Ghana CDs from the GRA with check number 434171 bringing its balance at the close of the month to 7,057,521 Ghana cities. On January 26, 2012, another deposit of 4 million Ghana cities was made into the Stambic Bank account of the company as VAT refund from the GRA on check number 268772. On May 9, 2012, the company received a 3,539,666 as tax refund. On July 9, 2012, an amount of 4,250,000 Ghana cities was paid as VAT refund. On 28th of September 2012, 3,800,000 hit its account as payment from GRA, while the company got deposit of 5 million Ghana cities as transfer from its sister company on 17th October as TRSF. In January 11, 2013, it again received 2,040,276 Ghana cities from the Stambic Bank on check number 269272. Other deposits made into the company's Stambic Bank account by GRA averaged 2 million cities monthly for job done by electronically monitoring the revenues of telcos. However, checks from all telecommunication companies operating in Ghana suggest they have suspicions about the monitoring agency. They tell Metro News GRA periodically audits their accounts manually but cannot confirm any electronic monitoring by Suba Info Solutions. Kweku Sechiado is the CEO of Telecom Chamber the mouthpiece of the telecom operators. In the last CST amendment law made provision for some uh, monitoring to be done, installation of equipment on the uh, facilities of network operators to do monitoring. In principle, network operators are willing and available to be monitored, right? Because they don't have anything to hide. He assess that such electronic monitoring cannot take place without the input of telecos. If there's monitoring, okay, electronic monitoring, I mean, equipment have to be installed on the on the facilities of an operator. Of course, the operator will will yeah. be fully aware because they have to they have to cooperate. You know, it's the equipment, and uh, so they will have to cooperate with the uh, with the entity that is coming to do the uh, the installation. This is contrary to explanations offered by an official of Suba Info Solutions on how they monitor the phone calls and accompany revenues generated by the telecos. Revenue monitoring and verification. So for any industry that has to do with revenue monitoring to deprive the company of all leakages and all that, we come in handy because we provide the requisite solutions that enable you to have good verification of any revenue you have and then you're able to avoid leakages in your system. We also have a telecom setup. We support the country GRA revenue mobilization by deploying our solution. We take the raw data of usage, process and verify whatever has been given and ensure that no lapses or no uh, everything is in order to produce and generate the, the required revenue for the country. We do that 
using our ICT solution platforms. Suba Info Solutions mandate to electronically monitor revenue telecom operators is clearly stated in the company's brochure as follows. Current abilities and projects, revenue assurance and monitoring. Suba Info Solutions Ghana Limited implemented a rigorous monitoring and audit system that has enabled tax authority to accelerate the tax collection. This system is providing a state-of-the-art powerful telecom revenue auditing and assurance solutions which has a scalable multiple threaded architecture that supports multi-vendor and multi-technology networks with multiple protocols and interfaces efficiently. I'm not aware that, any, that, that this, uh, uh, this electronic monitoring uh, has begun. My checks from all the legal and regulatory departments of the various telecom operators also indicate negative. I believe that when it's implemented or if it's implemented, I will know about it. The law has been passed for this to be done. The law has been passed for electronic monitoring. The electronic monitoring will take place or will happen or will be implemented with the cooperation of the network operators because the, 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 the two equipment will have to speak to each other. And so it's not possible that this monitoring can be, be done or can be implemented without the active cooperation of a network operator. Suba Info Solutions was very visible in the just ended ITU International Conference, which it sponsored to the tune of 95,000 Ghana cities. How ITU and Ghana is going to be benefited from the Suba is a, it's a Ghanaian company and any technology wings going to be uh, you know be a main backbone for the any growth countries Suba Info Solutions is on its way to becoming one of the technology giants in the country now it has won another contract to collect the 1% tourism levy on behalf of the tourism authority interestingly our checks indicate its board has representation from the finance ministry National Communications Authority, Ghana Revenue Authority, and so on, who take retention fee of 4,000 Ghana cities monthly, an average certain allowance of 1,000 Ghana cities. But when I contacted the National Communications Authority, Parog Van Persie, he told me, and I quote, we don't know exactly what Suba does. Ask the GRA, they contracted them. We are just the regulator. It is also mind-boggling that as an IT company with a staff strength of 30, only two are reportedly IT inclined. Some staff confessed they can hardly tell what the company does to earn such payments from GRA. We integrated uh, five area of services. One is the telecommunication solutions, which cater to revenue collections and monitoring, which do with the GRA. We are partnering them to deliver service to the country. So whatever we are doing is not in isolation, but it's in total alliance with GRA to help mobilize revenue for the country. We do that using our platform, our solution platform, to verify that the right revenues that are supposed to be generated are what are showing on the platform to inform GRA that this is what you should expect and this is what you should have. Nothing more, nothing less. I am unaware that uh, that that electronic monitoring has been going on with the cooperation of the network operators. Electronic monitoring, I'm not aware of it. Would you be surprised if it's happening? If Absolutely, I'd be surprised. So who is telling the truth? And does this controversy have the tendency to affect the growth of the telecom industry and the nation's revenue generation as a whole? Or is it the case that in finding solution to the mistrust between the telecom operators and government, we have rather created a bigger problem? That is to create a gold mine for another company. All these are basic questions begging for answers from government and relevant stakeholder authorities. Samuel Ajman, Metro TV News, Accra.